Grêmio. Hum, hum. Vai. I'm David Robinson. I'm an NFL skills wide receiver specialist and a Legends ambassador. We're training today at uh, Solana High School. The guys that I have here getting ready for the draft today are Terrace Marshall, LSU wideout, Seth Williams out of Auburn, Quentin Morris tight end out of Bowling Green. Those are a few tight end receivers that we're here today working with getting ready for the uh, NFL draft. So Terrace Marshall, um, LSU wide receiver, he's about 6'3", 6'4". So the big strength of his game is going in on the in-breaking routes, um, the digs, the slants. Finley, slam, and he's got a first down and more. Terrence Marshall breaks free. Half call. Touchdown in the slot. Finley, back left, back corner of the end zone. He's got Marshall for the touchdown. He's a big body receiver and has a, a large catch radius. So those are big factors in his game that makes him a big effective wide out. The weaknesses that I see that we're working on right now that I see that he could be better at is the top end of his routes on his um, digs, throwing his elbow. Um, staying flat down the line when he's coming out of his breaks, taking away the undercut lane for the defensive back. So just working on little things, little nuances like that, that'll um, keep him open. I got started um, back in 2005. I started substitute teaching at my old high school when I got done playing football, which was Kimball High School. And I noticed they didn't really have a um, off-season program for their receivers. And so after school, I started working with their wide outs. And um, they started telling their buddies about it from different schools around the city. And um, everybody from around the area just started gravitating towards me. And, um, and that was all she wrote from there. You know, they started, started spreading the word and that's how, you know, became a household name as far as taking some of those high school receivers from college all the way up to the pros. Nick's sideline shot. Seth Williams has it and he's free down the sideline. Touchdown, Auburn, 58 yards. Fade. Seth Williams um, was a star receiver at the University of Auburn. A lot of scouts feel that he shouldn't have came out for the draft. Um, he's a junior, so he came out for the draft early this year, but he was their leading receiver. Um, he's a very, very uh, savvy route runner. The thing that I like about Seth's game is um, he has a lot of tricks in his routes, knows how to get open, and has great ball skills. The thing that he could do better at um, since the time being with him is just getting his IQ up, learning the coverages, um, being more of a student of the game. My overall philosophy, man, being a wide receiver coach is, is being technically sound, not creating a lot of bad habits, getting straight to the point in your route running, um, teaching them different tricks of the trade versus press release. Um, when it comes to their routes, at the top of their routes, being efficient with their arm mechanics, throwing their elbows, and make sure their foot placement is right on certain routes so they can come out of their breaks more powerful and have more balance. So when guys leave me, they're gonna get a, a better understanding of the whole route tree. Um, they're going to get a better understanding on how to get open um, versus press coverage in multiple different ways. Back to pass, surveying the field, throws, it's caught, Quentin Morris, and he bulldozes into the touchdown. So a lot of people don't know Quentin Morris played wide receiver in high school, okay? So he's coming out for the draft as a tight end. So when you see him move, when you watch him at Bowling Green, he had a lot of success getting open uh, a lot against linebackers, nickelbacks because he has a wide receiver background. And when you watch him move, he moves like a wide out. So that's really hard for tight ends to move like a receiver in their short area quickness. And those are the things that Quentin has. So I think that's gonna really help him in the NFL excel getting open because he has good short, short area quickness um, with his footwork and he has a big body, got long, big hands. The thing that I see that Q can work on a lot better at is just consistently being a consistent catcher. Um, you know, being like 90% instead of 70%. Constantly staying on the jug machines and just enhancing his um, hand-eye coordination. So those are the things that I see Q can get better at. But as far as right now as a tight end, um, he's gonna be able to get open versus a lot of DBs because he can move like a wide out. So this year, fortunately in Dallas um, with the COVID, um, as far as me and training receivers, I haven't had much of a downfall when it comes to the COVID. You know, they play wide out, it's just like playing basketball. If you go too long without shooting the basketball, you're gonna be rusty. Of course, it's been different from a social distancing standpoint, but when it comes to getting to work, getting their catches and, and, and running routes of that nature, 
Um, it really hasn't been much of a slack out, to be honest. They've been wanting to gravitate even more because they don't want to sit down around just, you know, getting rusty and, and, and getting out of shape. So um, actually, it's, it's gotten even busier <laughs> for me um, for when it comes to, uh, you know, training during the COVID-19 season. So guys that have came through my program um, for over the years, um, Dez Bryant, um, Emmanuel Sanders, um, Antonio Brown, Chris Godwin, Jordan Reed, to name a few, those guys have experience, you know, um, being in the NFL for multiple years. So for my young and up and coming receivers that are just getting drafted or year one through three guys um, who need someone to lean on as far as a mentorship to help them stay positive mentally, um, I like to link those guys up with guys like those that have been in the NFL for a while to help them go through the adversity that they're gonna go through because it's not if, it's when, when it happens. You're gonna go through injuries, off the field problems of that nature. So um, I like to use those, my older guys that have come up through my program to bridge the gap with my younger guys. The word legend means to me, um, someone who has uh, set a trend, someone who has um, done multiple great things and not only just them, them themselves, but has helped others um, behind them come up and create a brand or create a trend to start their own company or whatever the case may be. Um, so that's my definition of a legend and what it means to me.